Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, the newly remastered, I guess, game that, you know, from Final Fantasy XII from the uh, PlayStation 2. Except with some different features and things like that, which I think were possibly in the Japan version that we are now getting. But, uh, not gonna go too crazy with an intro here. I'm gonna just say now, can't guarantee a full playthrough, only because of how long this fucking game is. But... This game does have a speed-up mode, um, where kind of like in uh, the other remasters, they have like Final Fantasy X did it, I think, if I recall. You have a speed mode multiplier, so I can hit a button, go fast. I might only do that in certain situations where I'm trying to speed through as well as when I'm grinding, because it will take for fucking ever. Problem is, I do not know how fast I want it. I hope you can adjust it, but for now, I'm just going to keep it at times two. I don't want to go crazy with it. Um, but if, if I can change it down the line, I will. Uh, we're gonna have the reorchestrated. I'm gonna keep it on English. A lot of people are like, I like the Japanese voices because the English voice actors are terrible and blah yada yada. But because it's a game, I'm not watching the thing. I gotta play and watch. Um, I would, and since I'm recording and streaming, I'm just gonna keep it in English. So, uh, we're gonna turn the sound effects just down a little bit as well as the music. Not too much because I care more about the voices more than anything. I don't think I said yes to subtitles, and I apologize. Hopefully, I can change that. Um, hopefully, I can change that. They're not going to let me select it now. After the cutscene, I'm going to hope when I get to a menu, I can turn on cutscene. Or, cutscene, subtitles. Also, that bar is just part of the game that you're seeing on the top and bottom. That ain't, like, a fucked up thing with my, uh, capture. I made sure of it. I I looked. I was like, is that a fuck up thing? No. So, from what I heard, that, uh, this game has a very confusing story to some. Some might actually understand it. I have no idea what I'll be in. I might more than likely be confused. But, as always... When I beat the game, I will read into the wiki and shit like that afterwards and actually truly understand it. Not gonna do it while I play. Because of, uh, spoilers and such. Not that it matters if I read it. I like to experience it even if it's been spoiled for me, but still. You know how it is. Best to be fully surprised. Also, for... Well, somebody's talking. I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Hopefully the uh, adjustment between my voice and the game will be a little bit better. I, I'm Again, first session to almost every session, I almost barely tweak it. I try to just keep everything the same. But uh, yeah, for recording purposes, these sessions are going to be much longer on YouTube. Uh, probably hour, hour and a half long. Just because of the game. More than likely. There may be some occasional 30 minutes, but try to keep it an hour. Really wish I had fucking subtitles. I'm going to be quiet. My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time. The borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalvano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Altea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy. Oh, still looks also good. Even on PlayStation 2, this game looked amazing from what I uh, 
like the few bits I played. Like I said, I got like not even that far into the game when I played on PS2. Let's see what I do. I, I got up to meeting like two other people with the main character, and then that was it. For the most part, I know nothing. I hope I have the ability to turn subtitles on. Worst comes to worst, I just restart the game and skip the cutscene. My dumbass missed it right in the beginning. Battle chocobos. They were defenseless. <laughs> Just got married, too, man. has fallen. Blessings of the Great Father descend and guide your bodies return to the earth. He's dead. Jesus Christ. Here's this character. Guy's getting married. He got shot. And now he's dead. Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Gonna be a lot of shit going on. That's all of Final Fantasy games, let's be honest. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmasca. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmasca had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, 
offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Ramanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbina Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. You're not going to hear me try to put sense to a lot of this. signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Because it is very confusing as a lot of shit was just thrown at me. <laughs> I will piece it all together. Probably not streaming and recording. Because I'll just sound like an idiot. Can you hear me? No. I don't have subtitles, so I don't know who's talking. It's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He fights to defend his homeland. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. We bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. That looks my character. That's me. That looks smooth. I'm assuming since we're now in game mode. Either way, we all got great skin. Think you can fight? I'm fine. Fuck sir. no. How old are you, Rex? Twelve. Seventeen, sir. Joking. Thank God. Young. Family. My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Oh, Jesus. Bosler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. He's the best. Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move. Oh, yeah, I got a sword. You must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the right stick to look around. It's useful to spot Imperials. Go and give it a try. Am I allowed to, like... Still not allowed to access a menu. Which I'm really hoping that I eventually will so I can do stuff. Use the left stick to move, Rex. Tilt it slightly to walk and further to run. You can walk, yes? Come, stand before me. Yeah, I can do that, but that's not the menu I am hoping for. Shit. Oh, I found the fast forward button. Jesus, okay. Speed up button. You see the mark above my head. Do you see how happy I am? <laughs> That's a talk icon. You can talk to any character. Show me one of these. Talk to someone, approach them, press X. Try to talk to your friend by the gate. My friend or somebody's friend. A friend. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do you want do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we're back in rabid nest, whatever he said earlier. Just listen to the captain, we'll get through this. There's going to be a lot of places I won't be able to fucking, like, a lot of names I won't be able to say. Let's the fortress through this gate. We must go. To the marker above your head that looks like, you know, a different version of the Metal Gear Solid's explanation point. It's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, switch, or item or like. To learn more about what you found, walk close to the icon and then press X. This is a weird t uh, training that I've gotten in the academy. This time, we must drive any Imperial standing between us and the King. Dalmasa's future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Rex. I will watch Rearward. Rearward. 
He's gonna watch my butt. That's what he said. He's gonna watch me booty. All right, can I open the party menu? Sorry. Ah. You can open the party menu by pressing triangle. From the party menu, you can examine your equipment and inventory. It's one guy. Much for looking at my party menu. That red line is a hostile target line. Take heed, you're being targeted. When a foe targets you, the line is red. When a target you target a foe, the line is blue. If you see a red line, look for the foes at once. Alright, battle menu, select attack, exactly attack. Change targets at any point in time. If your HP falls, press X in the item potion. There's no need to input your commands again. Alright. Attack. Wait for me. Now everyone join in, apparently. I did it, boss. Oh, here we go. Can up the battle speed if I ever feel like it. Subtitles, yes. Alright. So just put the battle speed really fucking slow. Just going. Keep it where it was. I did it, guys. You see me? I hit that guy. <laughs> Captain? Uh, a ship? I don't even know what the fuck to call that. Well, looks like we're fighting it. We have any techniques? We got thunder. Charging up. Ah. Yeah, I think as I recall, besides Final Fantasy XI, which was like the first Final Fantasy MMO, this was the first Final Fantasy to really change up its usual fighting style. Uh, being like the turn-based style that we know from Ten and Seven and all the others. I think, anyway, I've only played like Seven, a little bit of Eight. I know Thirteen is completely different. In, his, in a way, except you can't fucking move. Okay. Who's got like the e Hello, this is Jesus? My engines are hit. She'll not hold much longer. Why is that so loud? Save you, Tom Berry. You've lived to retire. Well fought. We just watched him talk really loud. He actually had his thing set to speaker. Eat you up. Yeah, I think anyway this was like the really the most different one because I think 13 put you in place. Uh, now the newest one and then also the new online MMO are different as well, and then the newest one that they put, whatever, 15, I think it was, I always get, I lose track of the numbers. That was even, like, more different than this. No simple way through the fortress. The mini-map on the top right of your screen may not be enough to gain your bearings. Did you lose your way? Consult your location map by clicking the touchpad button. Find yourself lost, press on the allows you to view the location map, and move navigate what you see for it. I really should learn to use a map. Because it will probably be my best friend, as most games. Usually very stubborn and I don't use them, and then I'm like, I'm fucking lost! <laughs> Bossler! Uh, where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vossler's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't yeah. die in places like this. I mean, men like he anybody can die at any place, sir. We will take him to safety. Is His Majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex! <laughs> Quickly. He says as we're standing in like a... 
You know, I guess they kind of want me to go that way. I'm going to run this way. I don't know. I don't know where we're running. I'm just going to go lots of places. Dead end, boss. I'm f I failed you. I have failed you, sir. I led you into a dead end. We are all dead. I hit a button. What was that? Oh, well, okay. Ahead we will face many Imperials, but we need not fight them all. Oftentimes, retreat is a wiser course. Should they need to arise, press and hold the R2 to run from your foes. Okay, so I just so happen to press it. But we're gonna fight him. Please cast it. Some regular guy. Oh, God, he's got fire. Well, you know what? I got fucking thunder. Couldn't see. We did it. Oh, here we go. This way. I saw green on the map to go to the next location. So we're just... This is a save crystal, Rex. So we're just fine with a giant floating crystal? I can save it. It'll also restore my HP and MP. So you'll gradually recover MP as you move about. It, it can take time. Don't miss the opportunity to refresh yourself and your allies. You have no time. And we must reach His Majesty before it's too late. Got it. We can save the game! The first of many saves ahead of us. Just so you know, I'm not, not sure how long this session is even gonna go. It is like 3 in the fucking morning, almost 4 a.m. and I'm doing this. Because this game released 4 hours ago, just about. And I was busy. And tired so and still tired but not as busy and i really wanted to start this up sir we have little time you must go to the king i'll handle these fight well now flee i can handle you it hurts it's okay. I said I would stay back in battle. Ow. I gotta move something on my desk. It's like blocking my MP counter. I can't see. I have to like look at my other monitor to see how much I got. I'm healed. better. I like how he told me to use a potion because he doesn't know that I have the ability to use magic. I did it. I fought them. Get to the king. I like that's how you open a door. Just poke it with your finger. Being. like our guys mixed with their guys and a lot more of our guys are dead if that is our guy I don't even know who the fuck's who right now we're only fighting for like five minutes not even your majesty Ow. That didn't sound good. Captain, why? This motherfucker. King, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His majesty was a traitor. Voice sounds different, did it? Or Captain, maybe I just I... wasn't paying attention. Either way, still, ow. <sighs> Use cure. Well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You 
never lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go. For the homeland. Thanks. Bad time for a trophy to pop. Just out of the corner of his eye as I'm fading away. For the homeland. Vaughn. On. Well, that went to a shit show real quick. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Ravanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Jesus, so the girl that was married died? Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanas has been found guilty of high treason. Everything's just falling apart. And put to his death. The only character they I got to play died. Hour, choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca surrender without terms. Was soon to follow. Now under these guys is rule of this empire. Whoever we were fighting for had originally had lost. Again, I shouldn't really try to put any of this together because I am going to be dead fucking wrong. Jesus, what the fuck? That ain't normal. Kites. One, two, three more. All oh, right. Time to clean house. Or this guy, we're Vaughn, which I'm assuming from when the guy died was this the brother he was talking about, which would make sense. I gotta chase after a fucking rat. Back here, you son of a bitch! Lucky. Can't come up there. Yeah. Got a nicer, like, sword dagger thing than the other guy did. What this is, it looks like more like a short sword dagger. And a deal. Yeah. This is my job now to fight rats. But like we could do this right. if we wanted to to speed it up. But like I said, I'll probably save that for real big grinding moments. Wow, Vaughn, you got them all yourself. Fuck yeah, bitch. Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Don't show me your dick. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. A sewer and a and a desert are completely too uh, That's whatever. That's for today. I'm not gonna argue you with you, Vaughn. Should get place, kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. Ugh. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. You can come too, Vaughn! Not even of ready age. Thanks. Yeah, the royal city of Rabanestra or something. I'm gonna call it Rabban. 
Here's 706 Old Vella something. We got this fruit. Huh? What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I haven't oh, paid. Haven't paid? Oh, uh, uh, on second thought, please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. What an asshole. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, churl? What? My pouch! It's gone! Ah, uh, the classic the bumped boy. into him trick. Get out the way! Ah! I'm a thief. I'm an asshole, apparently. What? Hmm. Hello. Hey, that's mine. What do you mean yours? You've been stealing again. What oh, happens shit. if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well... Wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. Fuck, oh, what a bitch. I know that. <laughs> you think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. He's a boy with big I'll dreams. Free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're riding in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Map often bears a mark showing your destination. Consult the map when you are unsure where to go next. Alright. World map ended to the party menu. Alright. I'm there and I just gotta go and take a right. Got it. This game is like... I mean, graphically it was already pretty damn good for the PS2, but now you got it where it doesn't look so blurry. There's some, like, anti-listing, I think, to it. Or just stuff to make it smoother. It doesn't look so rough and blurry. Because when you play it on a PlayStation 2, that's what it was. You know, the resolution and everything like that was just making it shit. Now you got it upscaled and looking better. Like I said, I could play it on either one. Just for streaming purposes, I preferred it to be remade because... Or remastered so I can, uh, so it doesn't look so oh, terrible oh, stretched out. Pinello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I have no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams are trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kipes to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Nah. -uh. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kipes back. <clears throat> what do you say? Ugh, <sighs> sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. 
guy just reminds me of someone who's pretty cheap, but I don't know. I don't know him, but I get the feeling of this guy being cheap. So you want me to run all the way up over there? Got it. So, like, this is also where the fast forward if I want to use it, so we're not just fucking taking forever to get to place to place if we're doing a lot of running back and forth. But like I said, I'm not gonna constantly use it. What is my weapon? Yeah, it is a dagger. Okay. I was like, it's like a dagger short sword kind of thing. The difference from what I remember, from what I heard for Zodiac Age, compared to what we did, we have a job system thing where kind of like setting classes for your character instead of the original where you could just be a jack of all trades, just pick whatever, like build you any way you want. I guess everyone's now specific. And I guess there's like a change you can have two jobs or you have two roles, which I guess cool. I don't even know anything about the first fucking job, let alone two. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is hmm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A uh, creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Like a fucking tomato. Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. The fuck are you? Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Ah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right! Vaughn, you should give it a shot! And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. Ah, this fucking kid. Out of here. Look it. Yeah, as it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Headhunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monsters you're hunting is called your mark. Here's the bill I posted for the rogue tomato. It's literally a fucking tomato. Okay. <laughs> this petition I have hunted. Do you want to hear all the details? I think I kind of got the gist of it. It's like, you're going to put a bounty, I go out and kill it. Let's just say I got it. I, I would expect you to take care of that rogue tomato for me. Oh, and I'll give you something if you help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. Okay, so I can get more than one hunt, I guess. Throw some com commemorate your first hunt. An armlet. Looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for it. Think license as milepost, marking your progress as your combat skills improve. Swords, bows, black magics, white magics. None of it does you a lick of good until you have the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. Damage, how, how can I get this? How can I equip this great treasure you bestowed upon me? Yes, easy. Learn by doing. Give it a try. License added to my party menu. I'd say you're ready for the hunt that mark for me. Oh, and you'll be needing this to leave the city. Show it to the watch at the gate. Yeah, a lot of shit to give me. Damage. A writ of transit or right. East gate's the one you'll head out once you take care of the mark. Let me know. Your work won't go unrewarded. Rogue tomato. The hunt begins. I'm gonna go fight a tomato. Gotta change. Once you chose a license board, you can't change your mind, so choose wisely. Oh Jesus. Oh boy, armors, I gotta obtain a license. Oh shit, so I have to pick one of these. Or you fights nimbly across hills and dale. Daggers, first aid, heal a critical ally. I can at least view the license board. Fights with daggers and knows if that's only the thing he'll fight with. Lord Master devotes his body and soul to their lords. Katana. Being a black mage. An archer. Axes, hammers, warriors who might weapons their foes asunder. Right. Will crossbows bend time to their will? Interesting. 
unarmed in poles, so I have punched the shit out of people at night. Warrior who wields sword and shield. A red battle mage, skilled with maces and magic. Interesting. Who sniped their foes with deadly precision. He uses guns. This guy uses spears. This is a white mage. I, I don't know. Vaughn, to me, seems like someone who'd fight with a dagger. He's a fucking bum. If we're trying to go off of what we're, you know, each character, it's like, realistically. Oh, I, geez, this is going to be rough. What the fuck will I pick, right? I'm assuming he'd use other weapons. Yeah, I just saw. I mean, they're going to be daggers. Yeah, they're going to be different dagger types. They're all going to just be, but like I say, it can go to two, I think. Ninja swords. He can use ninja swords. Not really. Really, sound with HP to deal damage. It's not really a knight. I don't see him using a fucking. I don't. He doesn't seem like the guy who would do for that. Exactly. Not... Well, so only crossbow. Trying to get an idea of like there are different weapons. And learn there are bits and pieces of swords and stuff, so it is possible. So, I just see him being the dagger guy. You know? Knows what I'm saying? I just don't see Vaughn being a guy that's going to wield a ridiculous weapon, and he doesn't seem like the magic type. The idea of a katana seems interesting. Problem is, if I pick this, do I not have a weapon until I go out and buy one? Because I'm using a dagger right now. Like magic and shit. Ew. Okay. Get this so we can wear the armlet. Good progress. Go to our inventory. Uh, equip. Sorry. Equipped. I want accessory. This slightly raises max HP. Go from 103 to 128. Eight. All right. Neat. That's gonna be cool, but I feel like I'll fuck myself over if I don't do it right. But I, I can't help it. It, it. It's my instinct and, like, natural thing when I play these games to go with who it makes sense. The problem is, I don't know any of the other characters. Do I gotta go down there? For the running part, I'm fucking just doing this. Bit of a hefty run. Doesn't even reach, does it? Okay. Oh no, no, I have to go to Low Town, I think. This is why we have the speed. Like, I don't mind the going faster for, like, with, with my stupidity of not knowing where the fuck I'm going. Well, no, no, there's a spot over there. I'm not paying attention. As you can tell, I am not noticing these things. Right over there. Yeah, because I, I don't know the characters, I really don't know what would be best, like, in my head. Like, what license to give these guys, because it's like, 
I can give fucking Han the ability to use a katana and shit like that, but he doesn't seem like the guy who would use it. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the, uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man. He's a great a man. Take offense, it's such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right. Gates are closed after this. Yeah, that is where I, uh, you know, I'll be sitting there like, I don't fucking know, and it's gonna be tough, but, you know, we'll just pick whatever feels right, I guess. What I feel like might be important. The problem is, I don't know what's the best. I really won't know. Because, if I recall, this game only holds three people in a party with the occasional fourth for story purposes. That's what I've heard. But, I don't know who any of the people are, and I know it's going to be rough all around. be a lot of learning and me figuring things out. Probably fuck up down, along the line. I just wonder if I chose a license, would I... Would I, I probably would have to go to the store and buy a gun or, or whatever I'd pick. Because it's like... I, I don't own anything else. I wouldn't be able to use a dagger, I assumed. First thing I choose is to fight this cactus. I'll steal from it. I'll steal from you. Stolen earth stone. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I got it. The reason why I don't want to up the speed, because there is that option to up it, because if it gets too fast in certain situations of the game, I'll be fucked. But like, we can do this. No. Because it's like grinding time. Sort of. I don't mind getting a little bit of fighting in, get some grinds stuff in. Some people might not like it. It's like, well, that's just easy mode now. Or not easy, but now you just... It's dirty. But hey, it's implemented in the game, so I'll use it to my advantage. These are easy guys that I don't have to care. Plus, if you've never played a Final Fantasy game, the beginning is so slow. It's so slow and boring. So it's like it's not that intense. It's just literally me going to be using attack a lot. And it just helps towards increasing points for my license stuff. Mainly hope to get uh, Vaughn to dodge a lot. Hoping for him to dodge. It sucks because I don't have a person for magic and no do I have any I got six potions now if I go to license I got seven so I can kind of choose where we want to go hell we can keep trying to head towards this direction and eventually it's gonna take a shit ton of points but we can get us like you know different weapon we can go this way for armor all sorts of things man Try to steal from this tomato. I got a pebble. He wants it back. Yeah. Come on, Vaughn, dodge a little block more. Oh, fucking thing's running. How is this stopping people's couriers? Son of a bitch, I'm running. Jesus, there's a little chain going. I don't really think I need to heal. There is. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. 
Come here, rogue tomato. Oh, I blocked its flame breath. How do you feel, Vod? You just killed a little tomato with a body. I don't want to do, like, any crazy amounts of grinding, because I, I do want to... I don't know. I, I want to grind when I have a party. You know, when I know who the fuck I'm working with. That's the struggle of Final Fantasy. It's like, all my grinding doesn't come until, like, later on in late Never game. See him growing out here. When I actually start knowing who the fuck's on my team, I'd hate to grind someone who's not really going to be a part of my crew, because I don't know if it's going to. Trophy! This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. I like how they said that, but let's turn in the uh, mission first. Want to fight, Wolf? He gives us an LP, one LP every kill with some experience. I'm hurting. Get some wolf pelts. I don't know what they're really used for. <sighs> is this the way we're going? Okay, I don't want to accidentally run into a different area. This is the only reason I want the speed, is because I want to be able to just... The running parts will drive me insane sometimes. Like, this isn't a bad spot to grind, because it's like... I got the crystal right healed, but it is very early. You know, you only get like one LP out of it. LP license point. I'm not the only one who got locked out of the city. I told Nello about the mark you were going after, and I guess I got her worried, so the two of us are out here to find you. As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gate, and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. Now what? Huh? Open the gate! All right, out of the way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside. <sighs> Right what am I gonna do? Hit it with my dagger? I do like one damage. Oh. <sighs> that does it. Ho ho ho! A fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different soil means different brocade, too. <laughs> Take a Damask and Moreau's wine. He may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but he has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. He's like, I'm gonna go Maybe chug this thing. With this sand. I'm gonna go chug this thing. Give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I'd best be hurrying. I need to turn in my quest. Okay, well. <sighs> Vaughn, wait. What is it? Vaughn! Be alone. You know, you have shirts. Put a shirt on, all of you.
touching me. We're kids. We will have order. I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Bane Solidor, Ugh. Commandant of the Arcadian Empire, Western on Your Excellency. Just start shooting people. People of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire. There was little point in asking. But know this I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people, strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred. Suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. And I even got some head and shoulders for all of you. And Lady Ash be gone. They stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. I'm going to call it now, if not at the end, close to it. He's going to be the final boss. <laughs> or close to it. With a guy with hair like that in a Final Fantasy game. Typically means we're going to fight him. I know this plan. I've fought many long-haired people in ten. Is Ravanasta to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. I am the gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. <laughs> the people of Rabinasta, Jesus me Christ. Me That's you. enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I... I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Ravanasta. Why don't you call me vain? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me. And we shall drink until you call me by name. How can he stand about to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. Lord Bay never did you know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well, I'd do something. Vaughn.
Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabinaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Hey, Pinel, that fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, Sky Pirate of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, okay. I just know in my head, me picking what I pick for this, I'm going to keep overthinking. I'm like, I know I I'm going to fuck up. Maybe, but I know a lot of things are based around having like lots of damage and things like this. I'm probably Time fucked with Vaughn being in this, but whatever. Oh, I'm screwed. I know it. Game's just gonna be very difficult. Hmm. Ouch. For the running! Having this is gonna make me wanna keep using every sub, but you know, like I said, I'm not gonna keep on using it just for running for the most part and grinding low level shit. Especially the beginning is so fucking boring. Not the cutscene stuff, I love all the story development. It's just the beginning for combat wise and everything else is so boring. I'll take this. Find the guy there. Uh, if you're looking for gas that you found him, I always shop over Bazaar, but a few times it's been tough. I put over some new goods, hoping to still be business. Yeah, clubs and shipment, trouble with snack cameras, that was close. Goods. I'll take it. So we'll have this hunt on, so we're ready to do it at whatever. That other guy, though. Homage. Oh, Vaughn, you beat a road tomato, did you? I was worried you might not be ready just yet, but you did a fine job of it. Here's your bounty for completing the hunt. Dungeon Gill, a potion, and a teleport stone. A bang banga standing in front of the building in the north end. Anger standing watch in the front of the building in the north end. Oops. What's the Banga? Bang Bangsta? This guy? Not here. Probably a place just called North End. On the plains. I need I think I can't remember if there was certain things I just hmm. I don't know what I would need and what I do not need I think I want to keep stuff that are stones 
Get rid of everything else. Anything that isn't like, you know, one of those, I'm keeping. Sure, I'll buy your potion pack of two potions. Okay. Still don't understand what he meant in the thing on guard at the north end. I don't even know. I'm on east end. Be counted as north end then? Yeah, this is north end. Uh, gambits. You. I want to find this because I'm interested in what the fuck he was talking about, but I gotta figure out what the hell. Something, something guarding it, showing my thing. I've got to be in North End, which here I am. Do this, maybe? You? You know, you stand around your game when you quite recall your face, or you might want a special head with the folks decide to say. Okay, let me in. Fuck did I just walk into? I am the bear. <laughs> Kyujin. I'm Kyujin, a hunter of clan. I know my boundaries. I joined the clan. It is a wellspring of information about powerful marks. Alright. Your face, are you a hunter? Welcome to clan. I'm the founder of clan. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Very strict entrance exam. We should begin you at once. In a past, Moogles are quick to make up their minds, Kubo. Alright. Clan Hall, you hear, you hear about especially dangerous marks you won't find posts on any boards the moment they rear their ugly heads. Well, I'll get on with filling the necessary clan membership to help finish in no time flat. I nearly forgot. Now that you remember, you can make purchases from my clan shops in the bazaar. Be hunting. Ooh, bizarre. Where the fuck was that? Here? You were uh, no, you're nothing. The other people have names. Okay, cool. Three potions. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Get whatever at the whatever bizarre, but it's like yeah, I don't know. They want me to go to old Low Town. I gotta go to Low Town. We can attempt that thing that we got for the hunt. I feel like I'm not ready. I, I, I don't know. That might be too... Not to my standards just yet. Right, so we want me to go to Low Town. All the way there. As always, I'm just going to use the fast word to speed up running. Because I get impatient running around. <laughs> I only get a little bit. I'm not that impatient. It's just that I always go the wrong ways every once in a while. Then it's just annoying to run back. Because of my stupidity. Is there a thing over here? 
Now check this out. Not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know why I have this urge to hit triangle for everything. I've been playing too many other games that triangle is usually the action button. Yeah, yeah, let's see. I can't use any of that. Nope, nope. I can use the dagger, but I don't I don't need it. Don't need it. Just wanted to check. Well, at least that, that shows that if I picked up a different license, I probably would have had to come in here. Or a different job. I would have had to come here and buy the weapon. Because I kind of got, like, one of everything. I like the speed boost. Especially it'll come in handy for grinding. Down here in Low Town. Makes it a little bit, things speed up a little bit. Teleport. But I'll just save the game. Let's not get too crazy. I don't need to teleport anywhere. <laughs> 